Hi, my name is Nathan Massatelli, and I'm a developer at Geotab. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get data from my Geotab using the data feed. The data feed is essentially a method that, when called, allows you to pull large amounts of data quickly and efficiently from my Geotab. It can also pull data as it comes in to give you a live feed of your devices. Not everything can be accessed with the data feed. Currently, only log records, status data, fault data, trips, and exception events can be retrieved with a feed. For the most up-to-date information about what data can be retrieved using a data feed, please consult the data feed documentation at my.geotab.com sdk. To show you how to use the feed, I'm going to build a C-sharp console app that gets GPS data in real time and outputs the coordinates to the console. To start, I have created a default console app using Visual Studio. In order to use the MyGeotab SDK, I have to get the required DLL, which can be found, again, at my.geotab.com SDK. Okay, so here are all the files that come with our SDK. There are a number of good examples which I encourage you to look at, but for now all we need is the object model DLL. I'll import that into our project so we can use the MyGeotab objects. First, I'm going to make an API object. I need to provide my MyGeotab username, password, and the database I want to connect to. Now that we have that, I'm going to create a simple while loop and call getFeed using the API object. I'm also going to create a variable called token that I will explain later. In order to use the API object, you need to call the call method. It has several parameters. The first is the name of the method you want to call, in this case, getFeed. Now, getFeed is a generic method, so the next parameter will be the type parameter, in this case, log record. Finally, to pass in any additional parameters, we will create an anonymous object where the field names are the same as the parameter names. GetFeed has an additional parameter called fromVersion. We will pass the local variable token to the method as that parameter. Finally, the call method is generic, so we need to tell it what kind of object we want from it. For GetFeed, we want a feed result object. You might be wondering what the from version parameter is. From version is basically a token telling the server what data you have already received and indicating what data you should get next. If you think of all your data as being ordered sequentially, from version indicates a point on your data's timeline. When we first call get feed, our token is null. Because of this, the first call to get feed does not return any data. I'll show you that now. So as you can see, we have no data. However, it does give us back an updated token stored in the feed result to version property. If we give this result back to the server, we will get another updated token as well as any data that has arrived since the last token. So first time we run the feed, we don't get any data, but we get an updated token. 
and then the next time we pull for data, you can see that we got some data and again the token was updated. In this way we can pull for new data. It is very simple then to loop and get new data. You simply need to get the token when you make a call to getFeed and pass that back to the server the next time you call getFeed. This allows you to continue to have a live stream of events even if your application shuts down. Simply just store your token value and you can pick up right where you left off. So as you can see we have live data coming in and this is a good setup if all you want to get is a live feed up and running. But what if you want to get more than just live data? If you wanted to get all the GPS data starting from yesterday you can pass in a search object to the get feed call. This search object is the exact same as the one used in the standard get method. So as you can see, the data starts from yesterday. The data will be given to you in chunks and your token needs to be updated the same as before. The search object allows for a lot of flexibility with the data feed. For example, you can pull GPS data only for a specific device. You could also get only specific status data, for example, fuel level, in order to know which of your vehicles are low on gas in real time. You can pull only live data or you can pull all the data Geotab has ever received from your vehicles. The data feed allows you to leverage the Geotab platform and its data in any way you see fit. Hopefully you now see the power and flexibility of the data feed. If you would like to know more, I encourage you to go look at Geotab's SDK documentation at my.geotab.com/sdk. Thanks for watching.